and welcome in to To Your Health. And we couldn't have anybody better with us today. We have the CEO of Baptist South Medical Center, Peter Selman. And I have known you for years. Long time. I've been trying to adopt him for about 20 years, I think, and his mother just won't give him up. But we're working on it. <laughs> there you go. We'll keep working on it. <laughs> but you know, we're, when we're out and about, or we have friends, we talk a lot about um, some of the experiences with emergency rooms are, are challenging. Uh, there's one aspect, those of us who have to go to an emergency room, but you know, it's like everything. There's another side to a Cohen, and there is the inside hospital part of that. And kind of talk to us a little bit about that to help us understand. Yeah. Well, thank you. First of all, it's a great, great uh, honor and privilege it. to be with you guys uh, today. I'm thrilled. And we're really excited about some of the things that are going on throughout Baptist Health. And But we recognize that Patients, citizens all over the country are going into hospitals, emergency departments, and the environments are, are really kind of suboptimal right now. It's really challenging for them. I think overall, uh, the patient's experience is, is generally speaking, not, not what any of us would, would set as the bar of expectation. And we're finding that all over the country, and certainly here in central Alabama um, and in Montgomery, where the emergency departments are a little bit overwhelmed, uh, yeah. frankly. And yeah. there's a lot of things that are that are driving that. We're seeing certainly increased volume, uh, increased acuity, which is the level of illness right. and sickness of the patients. Some of it, uh, I think the science and data will attribute to kind of the long COVID. So these are people who have had exacerbated chronic illnesses from, from COVID that are coming in. Obviously there is, um, uh, a trauma element to it, either right, motor vehicle right. accidents or what we call penetrating trauma, which are more of the violent kinds of trauma. Right, but there's right. there's hunting accidents. There's all kinds of things that are putting demands on, on emergency departments. So uh, we are excited to announce that we have um, just been approved to move forward with a 10,000 square foot uh, expansion of the emergency department at Baptist Medical Center South that will add uh, 30 beds. Wonderful. 30 beds to our current uh, emergency department footprint. And it's def des desperately needed because we have um, more patients than we would like. And many of your viewers have experienced this where they come in the emergency department, they get treated, seen, and the emergency department physician reaches a decision, a disposition. And sometimes that is that that patient needs to stay. They meet criteria to be admitted. And at that point, they should exit the emergency room, take the elevator right, upstairs right. to uh, to the appropriate um, unit, whether it's a cardiology unit or a neurology unit or maybe an intensive care unit. But unfortunately, more and more patients are spending not hours in the emergency room, but days in the emergency room all over the country waiting uh, for a bed upstairs. So this new expansion, this new addition will create a very patient-centered, private, new, state-of-the-art uh, space um, to accommodate those patients. So even if you need to be admitted, but you, you, there's no bed or no uh, anything available, then at least you have a great place to be That's right. for those 48 hours or however long it takes. Uh, go ahead and clear up for me, please. I had someone. This is all over, Peter. This is not just Montgomery, Alabama. That's correct. You know, yeah, not, this, that, not that that helps, but you just need to know. Because I had someone in St. Louis who had gone and had just the most wretched experience again. I think it was over 48 hours right. there in the emergency room. And they made the comment, but we had gone up for something, a, a, a Coke machine, or, and it said there are, be there are beds up there. And they're telling us there are no beds available. And I said, yeah, but the trick is... What's the yeah. trick there? Yeah, it's a, it's a staffing issue. And it, largely, every industry in the world is, is struggling with this and low, low unemployment. And basically, everybody that wants a job has a job in it, all industries. We see it in restaurants, hotels, commercial airlines, and, and certainly um, in healthcare. So that is quite a challenge. We're very proud of what we were able to do at Baptist Health through uh, the COVID pandemic. And since then, and we have... Um, relied on what we call travel staff, not just nurses, but largely nurses, but also therapists and techs to come in and, 
in augment so that we could create our bandwidth, com right. create, keep our uh, capacity available uh, to patients. And our reliance on travel nurses has come down a little bit, which is, which is great. Uh, but we are doing whatever we have to do to try to keep as many beds available and have the resources there to take care of patients. But yeah, you're right. It is it is a nationwide phenomenon. Yep. It, it, we don't have any exclusivity on that. That's right. Uh, there That's are right. other. I'd like to to clear this up too. Uh, just because a lot of people don't understand that the Baptist Health System falls under the UAB That's right. system. Would you explain that? Sure. So most, most of your viewers probably realize that Baptist Health in, in, in Central Alabama, our core business is our three acute care hospitals. So we have Baptist Medical Center South, which is a large trauma regional right. referral center, centers of excellence, cardiovascular, neuro, stroke, con cancer. We have Baptist Medical Center East, which is a full service hospital in our eastern suburbs on Taylor Road. Uh, really high quality hospital, fast growing hospital. It's center of excellence while they do a lot of things, but right. women and children services, and right. that has been a growth area for them. In fact, they're adding uh, a new uh, neonatal intensive care right. unit at Baptist right. Medical Center East on their new uh, fourth floor. So that project will be uh, phenomenal for all yep. of Central Alabama. And then we have uh, Prattville Baptist Hospital, mm -hmm. which is in the fast growing suburb of Prattville and a fantastically run community hospital. While those three acute care hospitals are our core business, Really, in healthcare, the the growth we're going to see over the next five to ten years, we're going to do what we need to do for our hospitals. But as good, as science has evolved, the delivery of healthcare is more is largely um, increasingly in the outpatient setting. So, True. urgent care centers, surgery centers, imaging centers, etc. So, all of that makes up uh, Baptist Health of Montgomery and Central Alabama. But we are an affiliate of UAB Health System and have been for about twenty years. Um, since 2005, and that is a really important relationship to us. It gives us access to evidence-based best practices right. clinically, the latest uh, in research, and also gives us uh, a little leverage and uh, purchasing power being tethered to the largest right. academic medical center in our state. Well, I'm just very proud of everything that Baptist does. It's an honor to be a part of anything that you do. And my heart goes out to every one of you because it is so challenging. And that's a good reminder to take care of yourself and do that's everything right. preventative so that you don't have to go to the emergency room. Because you great are advice. you are to a great deal responsible for your own for your own health care. So everybody pay attention and let's go do all those things we should be doing like your mammograms and your colonoscopies and all of those things. That's right. Good thank advice. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, much. Virginia. Thank you for having me today. It's an honor. And we thank you, and you're an honor, too. And we'll be right back.